What's good, y'all? Back again. Another day. It's your boy, the Curtis York. And we in here, man. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. Amir ain't saying hey, but it is all good. We about to roll. What's, what ball you see? Why you just stepping? What the hell? You just disrespecting my stuff? Just disrespecting my stuff? But yeah, anyways, we about to go. Um, it has recently come to my attention that our backyard looks extremely crazy. Let me show y'all real quick what I'm talking about. Look at that grass. And you can't really tell from up here because of the um, perspective. But when I take y'all downstairs and show y'all, man, it looks crazy. In addition, my room looks crazy. There's Tommy. Look at how pregnant she is, y'all. It is almost time. It is almost time. My room looks crazy. I need to clean it up. Um, just got back from Philly last night. I can't really call that an excuse. But, <clears throat> yeah. We gotta clean up this room. We gotta get rid of yeah. this backyard together. Yeah, Amir just, you know. Amir just saying whatever he's saying. He ain't playing. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We about to go <clears throat> on a little adventure. Yeah. 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 Nothing too crazy, but we about to make a run. We got to go to Lowe's because this grass, y'all, is crazy. When I tell y'all it's crazy, it's crazy. Look at that. Look at that grass, man. No lie. <clears throat> this grass look like if I go play in it, I find a Pokemon. Shout out to the old heads that actually played Pokemon back in the day. And they know. They get that reference. But anyways, yeah, we about to go to Lowe's to buy a lawnmower. Um, in the past, we've had landscapers take care of that stuff. But I've been doing some accounting and I realized that it would be much more efficient if I decided to cut the grass myself. Or, since I have a bunch of boys, Boy is eight, you know what I'm saying? I get him out there and cut the grass, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna like it, but he gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, we are working on this lawn care situation. All right, y'all, so I just found a table. Tommy just saw this table fitting on the side of the road. And I'm like, maybe we could use this. So, I'm gonna check it out and see if it's something that could actually be used. And if it is, I'm definitely throwing it in the freaking car and taking it to the crib. Obviously we're gonna wash it down and all that good stuff. But if this table works, man. Your boy is taking it. Cause we already got one and we was about to buy another one apparently. I didn't know that cause I was just going to get what I said I was gonna get. But it looks like we was about to buy another table. So if you think your boy ain't about to come over here and buy this table that's just sitting on the side, well take this table that's sitting on the side of the road then y'all got another thing coming. It stands up, it works. We will wash it off, and bang, we about to get this table, y'all. Hey, your boy is about to scoop it. Going right. to the house. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just pulled up. We made it to um, Lowe's, Amir, looking around, pointing at stuff. We gotta grab this lawnmower, cause your boy. Why you want the camera? Amir trying to grab the camera. He want to say, "Hey y'all, you feel better now?" So yeah, we about to grab. Oh. Yeah, we about to grab this lawnmower, so we can get the backyard right. Looks like it's getting a little dark, so it's probably gonna be tomorrow before I actually cut the grass. But the goal is to at least have a lawnmower. That way, I don't have to get it tomorrow. Alright y'all, we made it back to the crib. Um, I ended up getting a DeWalt, not a DeWalt, I don't know why I said a DeWalt. That, 
Just mess up the sponsorship, guys. I just ruined the sponsorship. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Nah, um, I didn't get a dual wall on this go around. I actually got a cobalt. So we went with a cobalt um, lawnmower. And I was thinking about getting a corded one. But then I was like, man, I'm just being cheap, bro. I need to stop. Like, if we're going to get a lawnmower, we need to get a lawnmower. And we need to get a lawnmower that's going to last over time. So I got the um, 40 V Max brushless 20 inch lawnmower kit, cobalt, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we got another cobalt tool. Ooh, I just tripped. And just in case y'all thought I was playing, I did bring the table home. We gonna wash it up real good, clean it, and then you gonna see it at Amani's baby shower. Thought your boy was playing. So yeah, I'm about to put this together. All right, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I got it up and running, and I did cut some grass tonight. I just said, you know what? I'm gonna test it out, and I'm gonna run it until the battery dies. So, at the and tonight, yeah, just tonight, your boy was outside cutting grass. And just to get y'all some proof, so y'all know I'm not capping, I did really cut some grass tonight. You know what I'm saying? I, I was out here cutting grass. I stopped because it died, and that's where the lawnmower died at. But your boy was really out here cutting grass at night. I know. So wow. Woo! Your boy is out here living crazy. Cutting grass in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? I do think I'm gonna wake up early, though, and cut some grass before, you know what I'm saying, I go to work and whatnot, so. I don't know, man. It's really cool. I like my lawnmower. I think it was a good investment. I'm super excited about that. You know what I mean? Um, who'd have thought your boy would be out here cutting grass, man? Um, from the little bit of time I was cutting it, super therapeutic, super peaceful. Um, go buy a lawnmower and cut your grass, man. Um, I saw Rick Ross on the ride on lawnmower cutting his grass. And like I said, I was just doing the math. You know, the first guy, we were paying $40 to cut the grass, and he come out and knock it out. And that was cool, but then we got somebody to cut the grass for $20, which was even better. And as the guy was cutting the grass, it was a little kid, I ain't even gonna lie, he was 14, 13, 12. He'd come out, cut the grass, and I was paying him $20. And I was looking at the lawnmower, and I was looking at the amount of work that they were doing, and I was like, if I take this $20 and I cut the grass myself, I could literally pay off a lawnmower. And so I did the math, you know, at $20 every two weeks, then, you know, $400, two going to four, you know what I'm saying? Did the math, added it up, and I was like, all right. Then I did it at 40. And I was like, all right, so $40 every two weeks, boo doo 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 And the answer is 20 and 40, guys. I, I know how to do math. I was just, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I did the math, and I'm like, yo, I could cut the grass myself on a little bit of downtime. It'll give me something to do, be outside, whoop de whoop And then I'll be saving money long term. Because I saw he had an electric, battery-operated lawnmower. It's like, oh, man, I don't even have to buy gas? Done deal. So yeah, man, I bought the lawnmower today. That's what you saw. I tried it out. I like the concept. So your boy's about to be out here cutting grass, man. And yes, I am gonna go crazy with it. I'm gonna buy a weed eater. I'm gonna buy a leaf blower. And we just gonna do the whole nine. Um, no. Where's dad dad? Yeah. Where's dad dad? Yeah. Is he outside? Yeah. You want to go see yeah. that guy?
ってってうんWhat's up, y'all? So we sitting in traffic right now. At least we got some good views. Somebody with a boat, a pontoon, riding on the water. I'm jealous. I would love to be riding on the water right now. But instead, we sitting in traffic, trying to get to Target in Belmont. Is that Belmont? I think that's Gastonia, actually. Yeah, that's Gastonia. We're trying to get to Target in Gastonia, but the traffic headed down towards Gastonia is crazy. I thought the back road would be a little better riding through Belmont and whatnot, but it is not. The interstate is jam-packed, so basically just enjoying the ride. Um, we are one step closer to Saturday, which is gonna be the baby shower. Everybody knows we throw amazing parties, so you know, Saturday is definitely gonna be another good one. This time we're going up for baby girl. Um, I don't know, I haven't really invited as many people as I did for the last few events for the simple fact that our yard situation is a lot different. We have much more house and a lot less land. So, you know, I don't want to infringe on the new neighbors stuff and whatnot. And then the parking is a little different because the way that the streets are set up. So I haven't been doing too much heavy inviting of people but we'll probably still have a really good turnout, so I'm excited about that. Um, other than that, Amir's in the back sleep. How are you? I'm good. Baby's moving. Baby's moving. Let's see if I can get some of that for y'all. And it hurts. We had a doctor's appointment today, of course, which I will show y'all us fooling around in there. Amir had to go with us because he couldn't go to daycare today. So that was fun, trying to keep him calm, cool, and collected while his boredom was just kicking his tail. So he did pretty well. She says that because she didn't have to hold him. But yeah, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it could have been so much more worse, but it could have been better as well. So, you know, it is what it is. Trying to think, do we really need to go to Target or can we make McDonald's, not McDonald's, can we make Walmart take care of what we need? Because that extra 10 minutes is going to be like 30. We can just go to Walmart and get what we need and not fight through traffic. But well, what do we have to do? What do you have to do? Because you said you wanted to go. I need to pick up some stuff. I need to get concealer. <laughs> I was just making a list in my head. I need to get concealer. I need to get one more tablecloth. Well, I need to get some double-sided tape strips so I can put up my whiteboards. Uh, I gotta get back to my studying because all I gotta do is take my exam but I've been procrastinating because honestly, I'm scared I'm gonna fail. But, you know, this is. I'm not passing. You're so smart. Yeah, but, Yeah, I'm just nervous, man. I gotta get out my own way, do what I gotta do, and pass this dog on test. And I still gotta knock out my other requirements, but at least the test will be done. I still gotta work on my certification, so. Gotta get it done, man, because it's time to start putting some other things in motion as well, um, sticking to the plan and the program. So definitely gotta get that done, knock that off my list so things can continue to proceed the way that they need to. And traffic is going traffic, y'all, but it's cool, you know? Just got some stuff to do when I get back home. Um, gotta finish cutting the grass because there's still some pieces that I didn't get and Got to make it work without the leaf blower and all that because really not trying to spend no money like that right now. Um, 
I did see what kind of microphone I'm going to get. I've been doing some research, so microphone's coming soon. We're really going to get this live stream thing popping off. That's something else I've been kind of procrastinating on, not really trying to get back into live streams, but I think I'm getting there. I think I'm getting all the pieces in place that I need in order to actually do live streams and you know, the office, I cleaned it, so it's starting to come together. Once I have my whiteboard up, I can see again, I can put everything up that I need, and I think that'll help out a lot as far as organizing everything that's in my head and putting it on paper. Well, not paper, on whiteboard. So we're gonna start there, and then just start putting all the other pieces together, and got a lot in store, man. I'm really excited, really good place, so. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on when we get to Target. I'm gonna holler at y'all shortly. Few moments later. One hour later. We finally made it to Target, man. Amir took a nice nap. He done woke up. Look at his face, y'all. He was playing in all kind of madness and sadness and it's just a combination. Combination. Of a mess. My boy look crazy. And of course, anytime we come and start Target, we gotta stop in the one, three, five dollar section. Cause my wife is gonna look for some stuff that we don't need. So <laughs> So yeah man. That's what we got going on. Just looking at this stuff. That's about it. Stuff you that don't even we need. don't need. <laughs> Watch me, I better not see you using it. Yeah. 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 Stuff that we don't need. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. Your boy is about to flannel y'all to death. Your boy is about to flannel y'all to death. Target is not playing with the flannels. And your boy is definitely coming through with the flannel game. We're gonna get y'all right. I'm telling you. Flannels is where it's at. You can't go wrong. We just left the microphone section. I was thinking about grabbing a Nano Yeti camera earlier. And I was like, you know what? I probably need to chill and save some money right now. It's not the time. Not right now. But. I definitely got my eyes on it. It's the next component to when we move forward with the live streams and the more stationary vlogs that I'm planning on doing. But those would be vlogs. Those would be like more of a stationary video. So next up on the agenda is getting the microphone. Did some research, got my mind made up. He is upset because he wants a toy. I'm like, you don't need no toy. But he is just falling apart. So, no toy for him. My wife dipped off and did her own thing. So she gonna be looking for us. Oh, I see her. She went and got the makeup stuff. She gotta get right for this weekend, yo. So yeah, I need some soap. Cause we don't have any soap right now. Well, we have bar soap, but you know, I like to use the liquid soap over the bar. So let me just grab some of that real quick. So making some changes. I'm finally hanging up my whiteboards today. And then I'm gonna move these over into that corner over there. Thinking I'm gonna put my whiteboards over here. I'm gonna put one behind the door and I'm gonna put my calendar probably right here. But yeah, I gotta get my whiteboards up. Once I get my whiteboards up and I actively maintain them, I can see, I can plan ahead, I can organize and structure things the way that I need them to be. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when I'm done in here, all right? All right, y'all, so I'm super excited. I got my whiteboards up. I got one right here behind the door, and then I have the rest of them over here. 
those two and then this one right here um i got another one that i just got chilling in the cut right now i gotta figure out what i'm going to use with that one um i'm probably going to take this and create it to make it a funnel um these are going to be just keeping up with what's what um yeah um tv still right here playstation right there another tv um that tv in the corner i'm gonna keep in this room i'm gonna get it mounted over here i'm gonna put another desk right here and extend these two and this is gonna be my vlog my um live stream setup so just imagine another desk right here um mount tv right there um that's going to be for when I hook up the PlayStation 5. going to have the game and everything set up over here. The TV and the setup, all that good stuff right there. This side is going to be for the live streams and whatnot. So the microphone and everything is going to go on this side. Over here is storage. And yeah, like I said, it's coming together. It's a work in progress. Um, we're going to do baby steps and kind of piecemeal it together. Um, Back there, I have my little clothes rack, which isn't that sturdy, but Grandma Donna says she's gonna find a better one. Probably gonna throw a futon back there as well and make this like a real life studio. Um, probably gonna put a bookcase under here um, just to have like little book collection, my book collection assorted. And we do have a bookshelf downstairs, well, four of them downstairs. I don't know if I'm gonna leave those down there in the kids' playroom. I'm gonna bring these over here. That would add more space, but I gotta talk to the wife about it just because she has them down there. I don't wanna throw off her feng shui and her um, decor and all that good stuff. So we're gonna see, but I think either I'm gonna put those right there or I'm gonna get another set and put that right there so I can have my books nice and neat over there. And yeah, man. I'm excited. It's coming together gradually, bit by bit. Um, yeah. I think I need to get another hat case for that side as well, just so I could do them. And that's going to be the presentation for now. Um, that's what we got, guys. Um, I'm about to call it a night. I got some stuff to do, and then I get ready for tomorrow. So I'll holler at y'all in a second. The next day. What up, y'all? We got so much going on. It's crazy. So, last time I talked to y'all, I put the whiteboards up. So, the TVs are getting mounted today. I'm getting this one mounted there. That's going to be my gaming TV. Um, that TV that I've been using to play is not getting mounted. Um, my dad's supposed to be coming up. My mom, so that they can help um, Tommy have everything that she needs. And also just have an extra body in the house while the TV is getting mounted. I'm taking my dad to a Panthers game, which is super cool. Of course, as you know, I'm a Falcons fan. I don't rock with the Panthers, but my dad does. And I think it's really cool because he used to take me to Panthers games back in the day when they played the Falcons. So now I get to return the favor and take him to a game. Things come full circle. And I think that's pretty cool. So just waiting on them to get here so we can knock that out. Once we do, we're getting on the road to go to the Panther Stadium. We're going to watch the game, all that good stuff. Get ready for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I got to show you all my outfit. We're going with the green, you know what I'm saying? The real grown man green. That's how we rocking tomorrow. I'm going to probably throw on my Margellas with those just because they're a real clean, smooth shoe. I don't want to throw on my um, SB4s because that just looks too, you know what I mean? So we're going to do the uh, Margellas tomorrow. That's how we're going to hit them. And yeah, I have been stuck on Armored Core 6. Now it just came out yesterday and I stayed up until 12 so I could download it. I stayed up till about three o'clock playing it cause it is so fun. Armored Core 6, man, trust me. If y'all ain't on it, get on it. Your boy is telling you now. Um, it is currently whipping my tail. I just keep dying left and right, but I still enjoy it so much. It's a really cool game. You definitely want to check it out. Got so much going on, man. I'ma holler at y'all in short. Oh yeah, we got the table set up in the back. Make sure you know that. You know what I'm saying? We got that. Table set up in the back, couple red chairs, you know what I'm saying? The table that I got from the side of the road the other day, we definitely using that too. Y'all thought I was playing, I wasn't. But 
Anyways, waiting on the old man to get here so we do what we need to do. I'm gonna holla at y'all shortly. I'm at my dad's house because we, it's a baby shower. And if y'all don't know the name, the, my sister's name is Amani Marie York. I'm sorry if y'all like want to see me more, but I can't because I go to school. Here's Amir. Here's Amir. And I'm about to play some Fortnite. Talk to y'all. See y'all later. The next day. What up, y'all? So today is the big day. It is the um, baby shower for Amani. Yeah, the TV looks so cool mounted back there. Koi, still here. Supposed, supposed to be gone right now. Still playing Fortnite. Amir is chilling with a balloon. Trying not to pop it. Well, trying to pop it, rather. Doing his best at Koi. Mm. Last night, the game was so cool, man. It was really cool doing stuff there with my dad. Now I gotta take Koi to a Panthers game. So we gonna catch the next one. But yeah, it's really cool. Like I said, things come full circle. I remember when my dad used to take me to Panthers games when they were playing the Falcons and then turn around. He broke it. Now I'm taking him to games and just seeing him have a good time and be engaged, it was really cool. So grateful for that. Shout out to the wife, man, for making that possible. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Grandpa right there. Oh, and we got the food yeah. going on. Now yeah, you know what, Kurt? When you come home, oh. we gotta get that stuff out the um since y'all the entertainers now. Mm -hmm. We gotta get that dog on um thing oh, wow. too. Yeah. The and chair. We gotta go to that shop. Oh, and right. remember all the decorations I had with the um the little jars and stuff? Uh-huh. All right, y'all. So it sounds like people are downstairs. I'm dressed. Here's the trip for today. We have on the shirt, with the pants, the Margellas. Um, yeah, we're about to go out here and do what we do. I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to wear my other shades or the Louis shades. Cause I always wear the Louis shades, but they still look good and they're still expensive. So I'm still gonna wear them until I find another pair. Been looking at Prada shades, but we may do those. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you heard that. I found it. You found it? I found something. Finally found something. I don't know where the little blue one is. But I've seen it so many times. The so, yeah. little blue one is in the bathroom. Okay. But the big box that we just bought. Oh, that one. Where is it? I don't know, but I know what you're talking I'll put about it in now. Here. Uh, this room is just. Yeah. Look at the baby shower lady. Hey. Come mm -hmm. on. Take a little second. Boom. I see it. Boom. I know what we're talking about now. Yeah. It's just been a day and a half. Is this it? This is real dry outside. Uh -huh. The dog TV. But yeah. <laughs> uh, 
They playing games. Everybody doing too much. We need to stop the. Yeah. Jeff got married. Yeah. 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 Okay, y'all, it's me. Not Curtis, but I'm inside the Nordstrom. Curtis saw Duna yesterday at our baby shower, so now he feel like he gotta have a Duna. I'm not mad at it, because I really wanted the Duna last year. So now we're getting a Duna. But they don't have it on display, so now I gotta go find somebody who's in the store working so we can see if they have it in here. So stay tuned. All right, we got the Duna. She's bringing it outside to the car. Grandma's here. Hi. <laughs> All right. Was it somewhere? Right here. This suburban. Well, not working for like a little bit. All right, so we got the stroller. There you go, my It's so cool. We got a gray version because that was the only color they had. And she was in and out. That lady make her sales. And if you're not making no sales with her, she's not talking to you. Yes. But that was an easy process. Very. Okay. So now we're on our way to doing more Dollar stuff. Jeff. We're going to Sam now. I think we're giving up time. Amir got his first haircut. It's so crazy, y'all. To say we actually knocked it out, man. It took me a while to do it. Um, Shout out to my brother Trav, man. He was just like, you know, man, I cut the boys' hair myself and knock it out. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, man, you know, it ain't that bad. So I thought about it. I'm like, I cut my own hair all the time. So if I cut my hair, I can cut a mirror hair. And so went on ahead, knocked it out. And now a mirror got their fresh haircut, man. I'm, I don't know, it's crazy. It's my big boy now. He got a haircut out here in these streets. Why did they leave the, oh Lord. Let me go bring this in the house. Why is that still left outside? I don't know. Earlier, I cut the grass, so knock that out. We bought a doona, let me show y'all. We got a doona for the new baby and we'll put that together, AKA Amani. We still gotta open up all these gifts, so that's coming. And then we got the doona, so super excited for that. Um, now I'm about to get rid of these last remaining boxes that were in the garage. I'm gonna knock that out, clean the garage, get that out the way. It will be done. This is it. So all of this stuff I'm gonna put away properly, knock it out. We good to go. Um, from there, I'm gonna clean up the office and it's probably a wrap. Ain't much left after that.